fair, 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 thirteen percent. What the fuck? Okay. Oh, I hope that isn't my sushi. But that would be really crazy because I literally ordered my sushi three minutes ago. There's no way that's my sushi. Hey guys, what's going on? If you're new here, welcome. My name is Brittany Nicole, and today we're gonna talk about my favorite face brushes. So I have hooded eyes, and I talk a lot on my channel about my favorite brushes for hooded eyes. I do a lot of hooded eyes tutorials. I think that's why a lot of you watch me. But something I've neglected over the years are my face brushes, and I have used the same brushes for quite a while. I am such a creature of habit when it comes to the face. I know what works and I just use it. So I don't have a lot here to share. So I think this should be a pretty quick video. Most of these are affordable. We've got a couple that are a little more expensive, but I do have a coupon code for you if you're interested in that. It is an affiliate link, so feel free to not use that if you don't want to, but I wanna save you guys money where you can. One of you actually recommended that I create this video and I wrote it down on my list and I'm finally getting to it. Always leave your makeup video recommendations down below because I write them all down on a list. I want to create what you guys want to see so that helps me as well. So if you are interested in seeing some of my favorite face brushes and seeing how many times I can say the phrase face brushes, go ahead and keep watching. All right, so we are starting out with some brushes that I purchased from TJ Maxx and Marshalls. I can't remember exactly which one, but both stores carry these. These are the Japanese brushes. They're synthetic and they're my favorite. I've been slowly adding these to my collection over like the last year and a half and they are amazing. So let's go ahead and start out with this one. They don't have names on the ferrules. They just have numbers. So this is the 960 brush. I love this if I ever want to go in with powder. So let me show you up close. I'm going to just put my hand in the way so this doesn't focus on my face, but you can see when I push down, there's a lot of give to this brush, which is what I like. I don't like a powder brush that's too densely packed because it picks up a lot of powder and then that powder winds up right on your face. So I look for more of a loose brush when I'm going for a powder brush. Let me show you an example of more of a densely packed brush. So the white one here is from Equate and you could just see how much more give the Japanese brush has. Something like this brush would be really nice if you really wanted to pack the powder on, but personally I don't want to do that. I just want to go in with a really really light dusting of powder and it's typically my Charlotte Tilbury powder. That's like the only face powder I'll ever use and I can control how much I'm going to build up from there. So if I want like a really light dusting, I could just lightly tap and then blend. Whereas something like the Equate would really kind of pick up a lot of product and then deposit it right on the face. So that's complete personal preference, but I'm absolutely loving these brushes. They hold up so well. When you purchase them, because they are coming from TJ Maxx and Marshalls, they do have some imperfections, like some of these brush hairs are kind of frilled, but it doesn't bother me at all. I still get the effect I want with these brushes and they are like under $10. I'm pretty sure this was around like $6.99 as were the rest of them. So you can't beat that in my opinion. Check this brush out if you are in the market for an all over powder brush. I promise you'll love it. All right, next up, this is the Japanesque 716 brush and this is my favorite brush for bronzer. Let me get it up close so you guys can see once again. Again, it's really nice and loosely packed. It's not very dense at all, and the size is absolutely perfect. I can cover a really nice surface area. A lot of times when you go in with a too small of a bronzer brush, it looks a little bit heavy, and I don't love that. I like more of a diffused bronze. As you can see, you can't really see. I mean, obviously I don't bronze past my contour, so you could see there's my natural skin tone under there. But when I go in with this brush, I'm able to just blend in a nice large area so I don't build up too much product and then have to really kind of blend it out. You know what I mean? Now, obviously, if I went in with a really heavy hand, that would happen. But I just really like the size of this. It works perfectly for my face shape and it really kind of covers the forehead quickly and then again down the neck. I just like a really quick, easy application. And I don't know what it is about this guy, but it just works perfectly for my face. You could use this for all of our powder if you wanted to. The 960 is a little less dense than the bronzer, but still the bronzer isn't dense at all. It's just, it's the 
perfect bronzer brush in my opinion if you had a really small face this might be a little bit big for you I wouldn't use this for blush I think it's a little bit too big for blush but yeah I love it all right and the final Japanese brush is the 722 this is a slanted brush again I'll get it nice and up close so you guys can see this is my absolute dream brush when it comes to blush and I'm going to show you exactly why again it's not super dense it picks up the perfect amount of product and I love that it's angled because I like to lift my brush so rather than going in with something like let's say this was smaller where you can potentially bring it down you can see my cheekbones kind of go up this allows me to follow that shape and then I'm not worried about dropping product down I really like angled brushes when it comes to blush and this just gives you the most seamless perfect application if you can't find this brush Sigma Practic makes a very similar one I do like the Japanese one better it just covers a bigger surface area a lot of people use these for like contouring I remember when I got my first Mac brush they had a brush that was shaped like this I have it in a different uh, drawer where I like don't use those brushes very often but I remember getting that and just like contouring the heck out of clients faces with it but I really like these angled brushes more for blush now because it really allows you to just control the product beautiful beautiful brush again it does have some imperfections because I did get it from TJ Maxx and Marshalls I don't know if they stopped making these brushes or what but I hope not because this is just absolutely perfect if you can get your hands on this for blush it will change your blush game all right next up this is the Sigma flat kabuki f80 brush love this for foundation this is my go-to this is pretty much the only brush I'll use when it comes to foundation can't even explain to you how flawless this makes your foundation application I always go in with a beauty sponge after I apply with a brush I'm gonna start saying blush that always happens just to make sure that everything looks super seamless but this is just perfect it really diffuses the product it doesn't leave any lines it really does look flawless you don't even have to go in with the beauty sponge I'm just like super obsessive about making your foundation and your base look like it's one with the skin it's just magical Sigma makes some of the best brushes on the market this is the one that I have the coupon code for so I'll leave that down below I think it's 10% off with the code Brittany Nicole but I'll leave all that information down below and again don't feel pressured to use that code it is an affiliate link I don't think I'll ever be paid by them in all honesty because I just don't have a people using that code all too often which is absolutely fine I'm just worried about saving you guys money so find a coupon you can always find a coupon for Sigma especially if you're ordering like your first time that's probably something like 20% off but definitely one of my favorite brushes from Sigma I have a lot of eyeshadow brushes I love from them as well but if you have been through a ton of foundation brushes and it's leaving streaks it's not looking flawless I promise you will love this guy again the Sigma flat kabuki f80 magic I'm gonna wipe that off now because that was a lot of lipstick okay and we are already on the last brush like I said you guys I am very particular with my brushes I don't often incorporate new brushes into my routine unless I'm lacking something and these have just done the job for me so this is the Anastasia a23 brush this is a highlighting brush and it is the most magical perfect highlighting brush in the world this disperses highlight in the most beautiful way it's effortless apply and you're good to go I've used a lot of highlighting brushes where when you go ahead and try to apply it it just really kind of slaps that product on harshly and it looks way too harsh in my opinion this just does the blending work for you now I don't go in and hold my brush right here and apply rule of thumb if you want a lighter application hold it towards the end of the brush if you want a heavier application hold it more towards the brush hair so I'm usually right about here and it's just absolutely perfect I'll go ahead and show you guys up close you can see how there's kind of like stacked bristles so kind of on the outer edges they're a little bit shorter and then towards the center they're a little bit longer and I think that's exactly why it gives you the perfect application I do not have a coupon code with Anastasia. I wish I did, but keep a lookout at Ulta. I got this for like 40% off. Every once in a while they have products on Ulta that they just randomly put on sale and that's when I bought this and it is just absolutely magical. I love it and I know you will too. So 
that is it you guys that is it for my brushes these are the only brushes if I don't drop them that I really need in my routine of course I have other brushes readily available these are like my most used brushes but honestly I don't need any of these in my routine they're just kind of extras if I had to pick another one I'd pick something like this this is my very very old MAC 165 something like this or like the Sigma Practic concealer brush where you can kind of like dust off product if it falls down like mascara or eyeshadow or something like that but definitely not necessary so I really wanted to kind of keep it bare bones you can always use you know like your powder brush here to kind of wipe that away as well or just a regular plain old q-tip I feel like in the world of YouTube and all these makeup brushes we forget about q-tips and even our fingers to blend things out because we have so many things like this available so that is it for this one you guys I hope this was helpful and somewhat educational if you guys have any questions, as always, please let me know down below. Otherwise, if you're interested in seeing any more videos from me, please subscribe. It means the absolute world to me, and I hope to see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.